Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, we are going to be designing something fantastic like you can see on my screen in Canva. And this is a flyer you can use for a travel poster or, you know, if you want to just share something interesting on Instagram, you can use this design to do that. So if you are interested in designing something like this with me, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so here we are in Canva and the first thing I'm going to do is to click on create a design. Okay, so you click on create a design and you can just simply search for Instagram. Okay, so you can search for Instagram and you should see all of these options and um, the dimension I'll be working with is the um, regular or the default Instagram dimension, which is 1080 by 1080. And um, just in case you also have any dimension you want to work with, you can just, you know, you can definitely choose that dimension. So I have everything open here and um, I also have some of the elements I'll be working with, you know, here so that um, we can actually save some time. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is to come into photos and always remember just in case you're in the free version of Canva, we have... Um, websites like pixabay on splash and pixels okay so you can search for images from these websites so um we are going to search for clouds okay so when you search for cloud you can see there are just so many interesting images that are popping up and you can basically choose any one at all you prefer okay so which one do i want to use okay so I will just carefully go through and choose this one so i think there's a very cool one and i will right click and click on set image as background okay then i think you know a lot of clouds are here so maybe i should flip my image vertically and i don't know if it makes sense but it still looks very nice to me but if you don't mind or if you want to keep it you know this way you can also keep it this way there the only thing is i just want the clouds you know i just want the cloud to be at the top which is very cool and how many people are even going to realize it? just a few okay so now that i have this the next thing i'm going to do is to pick this gradient element i have and all of these gradients not even the gradient every special element as i may call a special element i'll be using can be found in the link in the description box below okay so i have a link there that will lead you to a google drive so that you can get all of these elements and um, yeah you can use them for whatever you want so we are just going to you know crop it and scale it up and um, just position it nicely on our design okay so we have something like this and it's black and um we do not want to use a black color okay because it's a travel thing we want to send the you know this warm information or warm message to people when they see our design so we click on this and come to edit image in edit image what we are going to do is we are going to scroll down so we find dual tone and when you find dual tone just click on see or all right so after you click on see or you should see all of these options and with this you can basically just double click on any of the options available here okay so i can just choose this one and i will just change this color so i can change this color to um, a turquoise blue as it's been listed over here and with the highlight also i use the same um, turquoise blue okay then after i do that i just click on apply so you can see this is how it's going to look like okay and uh, if you want to also go for a lighter blue you can basically do that okay so now that we have that the next thing we are going to do is to press r on our keyboard okay for a rectangle and we are going to be designing something like um a photograph okay you know um, it's just these days that um photography we just use our phone but initially when you take a picture it gets to be printed out to you so we are going to do something like that okay and it's very easy so we come to element and um, to be able to change this easily we are going to use um, a photo frame okay so i scroll down so i find the frames and um, i can even use the grid since it's a perfect square you know, you know? then um, it also gives me the opportunity to adjust it according to how i want so i drag it you know to the bottom over here and i bring it forward okay 
then I just do this you understand and I also do you know something very nice like this over here then let's say we wanted to stay on the safer side let me just position the center and center okay and middle it and i also do the same for my shape over here so i just set it in the middle and the reason why i'm doing this is just to be able to make sure um you know it's perfectly arranged so i think yeah the border is okay and just to avoid moving this around i feel like changing the color of this request let's do that quickly so i come back to edit image and um, i come to you know the dual tone um, section again and in dual tone i'm going to just double click on any of the effects we have over here in dual tone okay so yes and i go in again and just change the color so um initially i use a turquoise okay but i'm just going to use a lighter blue so i click on this come to you know this section where we can add the color and move it here okay and basically just change things around so i would copy this color code okay which is 3d5 eea okay and i come here click on the plus and i paste it here so i think um this still doesn't look okay so i think i rather prefer this 8c9 de4 so copy come to the shadows and we are just going to paste it here okay so that we have this we want everything to be matching so with this um the borderline of our photo frame we are going to use a white color all right all right then we select everything but to this is the thing let's lock this gradient so that we do not move it around then we select everything here and we can basically reduce size and do anything we want so i would rotate this one to something like this and even before we rotate it this is what i want us to do select this gradient select this element i have over here okay so i'll just copy it and i'll come and paste it here and i would make sure i position it in a way that will make it look will make my um frame look very interesting so i will do this i would move it here okay and let me just make everything bigger so that we can see what we are doing okay then i increase the size of it all right so you can see and pull this one down then i just drag it to the bottom a little bit then i send it backward okay nice one so then i can select all of this and group them okay which is ctrl g to group so that's what we are going to do at the moment so let me select all again and group oh i think i already grouped this okay it should be grouped i don't know why i'm not getting the option to group them okay okay so let's see okay it looks like canva isn't giving us the option to group so what i'm simply going to do is to select all and move them accordingly then i duplicate this one okay and move it to the bottom and then i can even rotate it okay i can rotate it to something like this and you know you select this one also and rotate it something like this okay so you can see what we are actually creating here all right so then i select everything and i just try to center it okay so it's looking too big so i reduce it a little bit and i position it here so now that we've been able to reduce the size what we can even do here is instead of you know having this um gradient having this shadow here we can also bring it to the top depending on how you want it but i want both of them to be at the bottom okay then we come into the text area okay and what we are going to simply do is we are going to add some text to our design okay so to do that we just simply click on add a heading and we have something like this so i can um, say experience okay let me just do x experience okay i just don't know what i've been thinking of what to type over here but uh nothing seems to come into my head so i will choose a serif font okay we just search for serif and with this we want something classic okay so we have a lot of um serif 
font over here and let's see if this is going to work with us okay so we have something very interesting here and we would make it bigger all right now that we have made it bigger we also would want to center it so we click on position and click on center so we have something like this and um, we can also duplicate okay and move it to the top and we can see the wonderful okay city of you know i just don't know what i'm i'm saying here <laughs> pardon me sometimes that's how it can be you know when i'm doing these designs i just don't know what to say like in terms of text you understand so we will just stretch this out you understand and we would also center it over here okay so just to make sure it's perfectly centered i come to position and click on center and this is what we have at the moment so i will select everything here and i will use my arrow key to bring them down select everything at the top here and also bring it down okay so um, i'm just saying the wonderful cd of experience but you can basically say anything else and um, i want the font to be different okay so what i'm going to do is that um, with the experience i think i'll use a different font so i search for serif okay and um, let's see if there's any beautiful font so we have dm serif display and let's see okay so this is thicker okay because i want um it to be easier for anyone to read the word experience okay so that's what i'm going to do then with the colors of our text we can choose uh let's see if we can do something out of it this is not um a good color so we are going to you know try to um, make it darker like this which is beautiful okay so i just move it to the top a little bit which is one three one e four b so that's the color code for the color then i reduce the wonderful city i have over here i reduce the size a little bit and push it to the bottom okay so now that we have this we are coming into uploads and in uploads there is this beautiful bed i have um here so we are going to use that okay so i scroll to the top okay and i have this bed over here which i'm going to use so i can just you know position the bed somewhere here and bring it to the front okay nice one then what i i can also do again is um we can fix some images here okay so we come into photos and in photos i can search for mountain or basically any image at all you want to have in there we can just push that in so so we search for mountain okay and i select mountain and um, we see you know let's say this image very interesting and we have this one also very interesting so you can see now our design is actually coming to life okay so let's say this is something we are actually promoting what we can um, also do is that we can add some other font and say maybe um it would cost you like a hundred dollars okay to you know to come with us to these places so i just come here a hundred dollars and i just reduce the size just a little bit and position it here and what i can even do an additional thing i can do is i can add a circle okay a circle then i position the circle you know here and just make sure it's okay it's fitting well then we select you know this shape over here then we can choose any um beautiful shape any beautiful color okay we are just trying to change colors so we can do that so we can use a darker color i click on the plus and um you know we just make sure the color you're using is standing out so um based on the image we have over here i think the yellow was looking fine because it also makes it stand out and we are also going to change the color we can just use a white to make it stand out i think it's really shining out very nice so i duplicate this one okay and move it down here and i can double click and see only four okay and i would 
close this up nice one and reduce this okay and i position it here and i select this and bring it down and select this and maybe increase it a little bit then i stretch it out you understand then once i stretch it out i select you know i select it together with the price and um, maybe i just bring everything down and i change the color to white to see yeah i think yeah it's looking okay to me and looking here i think yeah it's also looking um okay over here but just in case it's not looking okay on your end you can basically just change color okay so this is um, one thing i wanted us to do and let me just do something quickly because of you know we have a lot of just the top part is too bright okay so um we can simply unlock this okay and duplicate it then i move it to the top over here then let me just lock this again then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to flip it vertically okay so when i do that i bring it down a little bit and i right click send to back then i lock it okay so that yeah our design can stand out a little bit so with this um yeah i think it's it's looking cool it's looking cool at the moment and um yeah just let me know what you think about this design so one thing we can even do is depending on what you have to say if let's say you have a logo you can position everything beautifully at the top and um since i do not have that i'll just try to center everything nice one so this is what we have been able to create so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you found it helpful i hope you were able to learn some few tips and tricks inside of this and look if you want more tutorials okay if you want more tutorials on canva always make sure to subscribe if you are new you're welcome make sure to subscribe um, like this video to help this video reach more people who would also find this helpful and i also want to know what you think about this video so comment anything you are thinking about just say anything in the comment section and i'll definitely respond the name is benjamin and there's always and always and always no limit to creativity i will see you in my next video